Thornvale is a narrative-driven actual play podcast following three monster hunters as they fight to keep a small town in Florida safe from the creatures that threaten it. It's full of action. I'll be like, I'll distract him, you get him. And so I'm going to try... Okay, Bjorn, how are you going to get him? Um, Comedy. I just got this image in my head, now this is me, not Sammy, of this dragon that was collecting materials for a chicken farm. (laughs) 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 And truly awful dice rolls. Nope, another three. (laughs) That's oh just my, my second three in a row. Oh, my gosh. If that sounds like it's up your alley, then look us up wherever you listen to podcasts. Hello, everyone. Kevin Carpenter here, producer and MC of Rolling in the Mist. Just want to tell you all again that Odd Loot will be attending the Los Angeles RPG Mixer run by Patrick Regan and hosted by the Dead Gamer Society. The event is this Saturday, September 14th, and located at Angel City Brewery. Once again, the RPG Mixer is for everyone in and out of the entertainment industry, so they can meet over a shared love of gaming. I'll be running a game of City of Mist, while the rest of the odd crew will be roaming around playing one-shots at the event. You can find a link to the event's Facebook page in the description of this episode. If you can't make it to the RPG Mixer, yours truly is also hosting a public City of Mist one-shot on Thursday, September 26th at Geeky Tees and Games in Burbank, California. This is for the Dead Gamer Society's RPG Lab program, where they do one-shots and try to get more people into gaming. Find a link to that event in the description, too. Get there quick. There's only a few spots. Finally, we recently released a Spotify music playlist for none other than Leo Castello. Listen to the jams that will get you into a veteran doctor's com. Find it on our social media pages. And while you're there, click that like button and share it and follow and maybe tell all your friends you know about our podcast. But for now, let's get into the session. Rolling in the Mist is a series of fantasy violence, sexual humor, and worst of all, cussing. Viewer discretion is advised. And welcome to another exciting episode of Rolling in the Mist. I am your master of ceremonies, Kevin Carpenter, and joining me today are... Pablo Mia as Eugene Fritz. And... Jason Peguero as Samuel Payne. And... Ryan Bravo as Leo Castillo. On the mixer! Yeah, Chris Rangel will not be joining us today. He's currently doing off business stuff because he's a businessman. (laughs) Chris, shut up! He had one job and he came to do it. <laughs> Hold on. This is for you, Chris. Why did you let the damn thing flood? Moving on. Moving on. on. We'll let that riddle be Can answerable I use that to you problem? all on the tweets. <laughs> no, on the tweets to Graham. So we join our heroes in the midst of their heist to the rolling note in order to, one, get the book, and two, get Samuel Payne's money. Joining them are Crackers the Bird, which was Otis's <laughs> best friend, and also Daisy Everett, the prostitute who, or, sorry, the escort lady of the night. The, the <laughs> <laughs> Yep, the new PC term is Lady of the Night. Oh, no. That's what they call them. That's on her job resume. Like, oh, her. I see here oh, you're I 10 see. years the, of Lady of the Night. I, I checked your LinkedIn, and it says <laughs> you were a Lady of the Night six years at, uh, at uh, Madame T- Tussauds. What was it called? What is yeah. it? <laughs> Tussauds. <laughs> Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Madame Tussauds Brothel uh, Emporium. It's, it's Madame, Ma- Madame Tiet, yeah. Madame Tien. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, you guys talked about the heist plan, right? in front of her so she was like okay I'm in everyone's like oh crap and then you guys showed off all your powers in front of her so she kind of knows everything now it's alright <laughs> I really hope you know she's someone you can trust uh, yeah we didn't think <laughs> fuck that you I, I heard yeah. the undertone in that so anyway you guys came up with this big casino heist plan uh, I'm not exactly privy to it but uh, basically Leo created an EMP which then Eugene planted on the control panel meanwhile after Leo shaved his head and put on his most dapper suit uh, with Dave Daisy on his arm. Uh, he managed to get through the front door with uh, Samuel's help, who is currently disguised as a guard at the Rolling Note. Yep. You look like a uh, rad grit knockoff, yes. correct, of the celebrity? Yeah. Yes. I look like his cloned brother. So it was supposed to be thrown wait, away. Nice. Yeah. Rad Brit. You look like Rad Brit. No, Rad Grit. Rad yeah, Grit. You, yeah, you look like Rad Brit. I'm no. off Rad Grit. Yeah, you're, you're not Rad Brit. Oh, yeah, Rad Brit. Oh, yeah. I see what you're we're, doing there. We're getting, yeah. we're getting deep into the knockoff Wait, can, I, can I just say something? What? Is, like, Crackers his parrot? Like, is, it, is he just, like, he, like, he seems to be attached to you more than any of us. I, 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 I can understand me, but him. You say his pointing at Eugene. Yeah. Yeah, he's part of the, he's part of the whole crew, but he's, like, he's, like, BFFs, I think. 
with Eugene. He really is like Toby. <laughs> really Nobody does. knows who that is. Toby knows who he is. All right. <laughs> is Toby listening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Better be listening. It's just our mothers. Um, anyway, so here's the current situation. Uh, Samuel, Leo, and Daisy have just gotten into the front. Meanwhile, Eugene is at the back of the building along with Crackers. However, Eugene, while invisible, just saw an unmarked van pull up to the back with a gang of rolling note thugs and a ginger fellow in a suit so crimson it could almost be black, who you surmised from Leo's description to be Heathcliff. Heathcliff? Fucking fuck! Why? Why? Why is that name stuck? Renfield. Who you surmise to be Renfield. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is where we join our heroes in the midst of our casino heist. So, Leo and Eugene have already done their voiceover monologues the last two episodes. Let's start with Samuel. Samuel, you are currently in the front. You hear the sounds of your home, of slots and roulettes and drinks being poured in the midst of this casino. What's going through his head? God, it's good to be home. Love the sound of money flowing. Love the sound of tears falling. This is all I desire and more. I don't know what else to do at that point. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at monologues. I'm God sorry. Damn, I didn't know we could yeah. be so brief with them. Short and sweet and to the point, I guess. All right. So you you look around. You hear more sounds like chips falling. You hear you you, you see one person. Uh, they just one blackjack and they sit up from their stool and pump a fist. You see another person who is just falls to their knees and starts weeping in front of a slot machine. And you also see the stage on the other side of the room with the backup band currently playing just background music. Some What's nice the color? The colors we're seeing. How colorful is this place? How colorful? Yeah. Uh, I'd say most uh, most of the room is in a like red velvet like interior uh, with like red lights going over everything. But with like the the slots playing their neon lights, you get like flashes of like yellow and blue and green. Um, but for the most part, you know this this whole uh, casino is bathed in this rich red and gold and black. Nice. So, uh, with that monologue, we, uh, we zoom in on Samuel's face as he smiles in contentment, and then we cut to Eugene's invisible face, which is currently, I assume, wide-eyed and nervous. Isn't it always? <laughs> Eugene, you are uh, peeking around the corner, currently invisible, and you see uh, this unmarked van has pulled up behind the casino in this uh, like broad alleyway. You see a couple of uh, rolling note uh, thugs just kind of walking around, and you, you know they're rolling note thugs because they have like card emblem insignias just like on their suits. Some have, uh, actually, all of them have clovers. They have clovers? Yeah. Oh, on the, oh, I see it. The on their suits, yeah. Got it. Yeah, so all of them have uh, clovers. And then you see one person get out of the van and he's wearing this like. Aren't those spades? Are those no. spades were the highest ones? Spades are clubs. Clovers are like the, like the three leaf clovers. I, think, I didn't even know if they were actually called clovers. That's clubs then. Those, those are clubs. clubs. Oh. So they those got clubs. clubs. I, I, I knew, knew clovers are clovers, mm -hmm. but I pictured cool, so they got clubs. Okay. All, the spades got clubs. Got clubs. So yeah, all the goons got clubs. Yeah, all the goons got clubs. Spades, diamonds, hearts, clubs. All the goons got clubs. Yeah. It's like, it's like a back out. This is like, wait, wait, this is like the Flintstones Are we talking movie. about rank? Are you talking you, about no, no, rank? No, no, no. I'm just saying the, the type of images or symbols that are on playing cards. Right, but do you want to know the rank order in which, like, which is diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes like that. Yeah. So diamonds are the lowest and spades are the highest. Yeah. Well, these guys have got clubs. Okay. So yeah. Level two. Cool. And uh, you you see this cool. figure. You see this figure in this uh, deep red suit and uh, bright red hair. Uh, ears that are slightly pointed and this like jawline that's chiseled. And he he steps out and he like as the as the thugs like refer to him, he seems to be the one in charge. But you see that he's like he's shaking. Like you know, his eyes are like darting everywhere. Like he's paranoid and he, he has this like. He he has this like jitter to him, like like something that you are very familiar with, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> I feel compelled to 
give him a hug. No, I don't think. <laughs> um, as, as you think that, like, one of the thugs, like, reaches a hand toward him, and immediately, like, this guy just grabs the thug's hand and, like, squeezes the wrist, and you hear, like, this thug, who's this big dude, just, like, cry out in pain, and then, like, uh, this ginger dude just, like, drops his hand and just, like, pushes the thug back and just shakes his head, and then he starts, like, barking orders, just like, all right, get these doors open. Come on, let's go, let's go. We got, we got people to talk to. Come on. And uh, the thugs immediately go toward the uh, the rear doors, which are like super reinforced. Uh, like, and on each door, two thugs take out a key and then unlock two locks at the same time. And then they open up one of the doors and like slide it open, like up top. Like it starts from the bottom and then pulls up. Mm-hmm. And then like the thugs just start pouring in as uh, Renfield follows them. So Yuji, you have a choice here. Either you can go up to the front like the plan, and sneak in through there. <clears throat> or you can follow this new twist in the plan. And just go through the open, giant back door? Yep. Is everyone gone? Like, they've gone through the door? They're, they're currently going through, and there's going to be one thug who stays at the door to close it. You are currently invisible, so if you want to try to sneak oh, through, you have, you have the shot. But this is, you have a feeling this is going to be your one shot. Oh, man. Um... God, we need walkie-talkies. Um, it wasn't in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, where the hell are you? <laughs> oh, Eugene, man. I repeat. <laughs> but I, okay, I guess it really doesn't matter if I'm not entirely sure if that's Renfield or not because he never has encountered him. He just heard yeah. two different distinct descriptions of him. Yeah, Otis gave a description of Renfield and Leo gave a description of Renfield. Uh-huh. So you, you kind of get a sense of who this dude is, but, I mean, you personally haven't seen Renfield up till now. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. What would Eugene do? I what is the most tactical situation to follow? <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can do here with my intellect and my well, my, my options. and Statistically speaking, I suppose that I... The last guard has gone through the door. I, what, crackers, what do you think I should do? Crackers! Crackers is... He's not listening. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's just watching all of this go down. He, crackers just looks at you and just spreads its wings. And you hear the door start to close. Oh, heavenly merciful God, it's for good podcasting. And he runs. <laughs> he runs and the slides... Under the door. He doesn't slide. I'm assuming he can just, like, duck under and get in through the door. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Roll, take a risk, my friend. Ah, oh, shit. God okay. damn it, probably had one job. I'm, can I use invisibility <laughs> since I'm literally yes. using it to... Okay. I'm using invisibility. I think what else? I don't... I, I activate bull rushing <laughs> just decapitates the guard. <laughs> Eugene uses volt tackle. Um, let's see. Uh, quick use attack. veterans, doctors, come. Double team. <laughs> What would Leo do? The rest, of this, the rest of this uh, campaign, Eugene can only say, Fritz, Fritz. Use, Fritz. use crackers. <laughs> Fritz, Fritz. Waste crackers. This is the time. Crackers is standing by at the EMP. I guess I he was told to guard it. Oh, wait. Evading, evading detection. Okay. Great. <laughs> so this is a plus two. I love how you just found that. Like, hey, I have this. <laughs> I think that's all I can use. Okay. That is a. That's a five plus two plus two. That's a that's a nine. Very nice. I think. Yes. Yeah, it's a yeah, nine. You math. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, I can either give you an ugly choice or uh, just a worse choice. Uh, <laughs> worse. Sorry. Is that uh, how the game works? Sorry. Sorry. An ugly choice or a worse outcome. Um, really? Wow. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually. Oh, sweet. I rolled a 15 out of 10. Ooh, what do I get? Oh, you can either get a. Uh, a you can uh, either lose your legs or gain AIDS. You can either get a pole vault kick in the groin or you can get a dead father. Like, what do you want? <laughs> Jesus. You, you got a nine. Yeah, that, I know. I'm just saying. That's how the game works. You read the high. contract. You can either get a slap in the nuts or a tickle in the titty. Like, I was like, what are you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, so here's what happens. You, uh, actually, I think it's already built into the situation. You rush around the corner, and you start, like, just fucking running for this door. It's about to close, and you just, like, slide through right as it closes, and you are inside the back of the casino. And it's uh, dark at first, but even without being able to see anything, you hear, and you know that the door that you just vaulted through is now locked. Oh, God. And it looks like uh, you need the keys to unlock it on this side as well. Okay. So now I've, I've uh, scrambled to my feet and, like, back against the wall, mm-hmm. still invisible, 
Yeah. Which I guess we haven't really decided, by the way, how long invisibility lasts. I I would say for the purposes of this like dramatic story, you know you can be invisible for the next couple of moments, so you should probably find somewhere to hide. Okay, what is around me in this back room where we are now? I'm glad you asked, so I can describe it. Excellent. So you are currently in this wide, like, warehouse large uh, back room where you see just in the center, just immediately catches the eye, is this large square, like, structure that just sits in the middle of this room. And you kind of surmise this, like, big reinforced cube is probably the vault. Cool. But it looks like the actual, like, vault door is on the other side. Um, I'm, like, behind the vault structure. Exactly. Okay, cool. Uh, on either side of the vault are these like large like Costco big shelves that are filled with like supplies, mm-hmm. and uh, you can see on the other side of the room there are uh, three doors. It looks like two of them leads to sort of just like regular offices, and then one is open and it looks like it goes into like a like a dim like break room. It, it's hard to it's hard to get a lot of details in this room because it really just has like fluorescence up top like lamp hanging singular fluorescence yeah not like not like bays of fluorescence does it have more of like the like that warehouse office fill kind of thing yes too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay it's like a bleak I kind of spot which like people you know people working are just doing behind the scenes stuff exactly yeah, yeah this, this is basically just a warehouse in the back of the casino back of a walmart supercenter got it got yeah it. The, this casino is is basically in two halves there's like the front area where it's like there's the slots and the you know blackjack the glam and, and beauty and then the back is all business it's all business back here uh, including the big asphalt so you said i see a like a like a break room door and is there another door you said like another room uh sorry i need to redo my description there's not three doors there's four doors okay there's one door that leads to a break room that's slightly open Mm -hmm. there's two doors that you can kind of guess are to like regular offices like where like the accounting would be done or something like Uh that and then there's a uh fourth door which is uh, across the room and to your right which from samuel's description is the only door that leads to the front of the casino got it okay where is everybody who I followed in here? You, you, I assume, like, scamper toward, yeah. like, a shelf. Is there, are, are there, like, crates in the corners of the room or something like that? Yeah, All right. I'd say that. You, you scamper over to a crate. To, to a then... crate in the corner away from, like, in the far edge of the room, and I on, I make myself visible Yeah. as I hide. So you're, you're crouched behind a crate, now visible, and you're, like, peeking over the top, and you see that the, uh, the, the guards are just kind of, like, uh, kind of spreading out, and Renfield's in the center, and he's still, like, shaking. But, you know, he, he's, like, you can see he's, like, trying to, like, control it, you know? But he's still got like a twitch to his head. And he's, oh my god! He's just like, all right, everybody, fan out. Make sure everything's good in here. I'm gonna go talk to the boss. Where? Where's the fucking break room? And like one of the guards immediately is just like, oh, it's over here, Mr. Renfield. All right, take me over there, you sons of bitches. And uh, the guard, like keeping a healthy distance, making sure not to touch this guy, uh, starts leading him toward the uh, the door, which you uh, assume to be the break room. Uh huh. And they're all, but he said fan out. Are people fanning out in the room right now? Yeah, they're, it looks like uh, the guards are just sort of like spreading through the room, kind of to just like look through the, you get the idea that they're not going to be here for long. Like these guards are more like Renfield's retinue. They're just kind of like finding a place to stand while they wait on him. And it's like, you know, if, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, they're just like, in air quotes, guarding the room. Okay. But they're like spreading to different corners and just like lazily going through the shelves and all that. Shelves. And they're I'm like a- his bodyguards waiting for the master to come back and then get the hell out of there. Yeah. But I'm away from the shelves. I'm in like... Yeah, you're, you're, okay, you're, next, you're next to one of the doors uh, <clears throat> behind some crates. And, you, and there's about three guards who are just kind of like fanning through the room just in all different directions. Okay. Uh, am I able to, like, from the outskirts of the room, behind crates and maybe outer... I'm sure there's not just two bays of shelves. I'm sure there's, like, lots of rows of... Yeah. Okay, like a... Okay. Um, so is there a way I can, from the outskirts, like, Arya Stark my way, like, across the room? <laughs> just, towards just kill one of the guards from up off yeah. his <laughs> Can I, like, become... <laughs> <laughs> an IT officer has no name. Um, can I get Can I get near the break room? Uh, that would be a sneaking around roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's sneak. Do it. Do it. Um, do it. Kill him, I, it, God, invisibility would just make this all so much easier, but I've, I don't know how that works in terms of just like, can I just milk that shit? 
Uh, Can I do it again? <laughs> yeah, normally. Is it like holding my breath? Normally, it's a city of mist rules. Uh, you can't use the same tags for the same thing. But last time, it was more for like you jumping through a door to take a risk. This is like straight up you sneaking around. So yeah, I'll allow it. Cool. That, that was the rule. <laughs> yeah. That was the rule, right? That like we can't like I can't cast you know fireball that? and through a fireball I have to think of something else Joe. to do. Yeah. Okay. That was just like, 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 that was the way I said that. it. Cool. <laughs> because I was getting amped like awesome. I use everything on my sheet. Um, no, dope. Um, I'm gonna do that. Not only am I gonna use. Okay. What I'm trying to do is get because I'm assuming it's literally the opposite wall yeah. is where all these rooms are. Yeah. So I'm trying to just get within earshot, still being behind stuff, like crates or shelves, whichever I'm nearest, um, get within earshot of that room. Cause they went in, but the door is ajar, right? Yes. Cool. Trying to get within earshot of that door. So um, I'm going to go invisible. I'm going to use evading detection as well. Is people watch our work yet, or I got to get there first? I could say you could use people watcher to just like see where, where the, the guards, guards are, are like fanning out. Dope. Yeah. I'm going to use those three. Also going to very subtly use shadow manipulation to keep wherever I'm sneaking through the darkest area of the room. So even if they think they see something, they, they don't, they can't. Oh, so you like carry shadows with you. I'm basically you. carrying shadows with me, but like as I leave an area, a, sh a shaded area, it you know, those shadows go back to where they were. Got it, okay. So it, it's, almost, it's an imperceptible thing for yeah. them. Normally, I would negotiate down from a plus four, but you literally built a stealth character, so <laughs> go for it. Plus four, motherfuckers! That is a uh, seven plus four. That is an 11. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's no there's no worse choice or ugly bargains or anything like that. He's like... Dun, dun, yes, dun, I, dun, I am dun, dancing dun, right now. Dun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you know how I felt when out my gambling shit came through. <laughs> <laughs> I beat the system. I am in my element. Okay, I'm excited. So, so yes, yeah, so uh, sneaking around music starts playing as uh, Eugene turns invisible, crouches down, and... Oh, I'm, I know. I went into I, I need to actually put in the music so that way I can cut out. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't have to do if, it anymore? It, yeah, if you do it while I'm talking, I can't cut anything. Okay, <laughs> start over. So, but keep this. <laughs> this so, okay. so this is right. definitely the promo right here. <laughs> can so I Pablo, lead in your music at all? So what? fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stop all right. being you. So, Eugene sneaks, go. <laughs> Sounds so defeated. That's it. That's the description. Eugene sneaks. <laughs> no. Man, man. Uh, sneaking music begins playing as Eugene crouches down and turns invisible. You uh, watch for the guards all around you as you uh, traipse around the shelves and corners, managing to manipulate the shadows around you. So that way, even if they catch a glimpse out of the corner of their eye, they see nothing as they turn. And just flawlessly... You make it to the other side of this room, right next to the break room. Like literally, you make it to like the door frame without anyone catching you. And you look inside, and you see Renfield and this one guard in this room. It's a pretty bare bones room. Like, you know, it's not like a break room with like a kitchen counter and like a coffee machine or anything. It's literally just like two folding tables and like some chairs. And they've actually been pushed to the sides. So that way, there's just one chair under like a single lamp with some blood on it. Classic. But uh, here's here's the interesting thing, though, about this room. Eugene and this guard walk straight past all of that and go to the opposite wall. Eugene and this guard? Sorry, fuck. Okay, I was like, I got fuck. a buddy? I've got to get better with the names. So Renfield and this guard just walk right past all of that and go to the other side of the room. And then the guard just, like, hits a point on the wall, and the wall slides. Oh. And we cut to our two other... <laughs> Heroes? Protagonists are two other protagonists at the front of the casino. So, Samuel and Leo, you guys are up front. Samuel, you're disguised as a guard. Leo, you're disguised as a bald man. <laughs> and you can. An attractive bald man. <laughs> and uh, Daisy is disguised as Daisy. She's currently wearing a very nice dress and also her uh, ruby red slippers with the sparkle on them. Uh, and she has your arm and. Uh, yeah, what's the plan, guys? What are you gonna do? I look at Leo and I go, Where the fuck is Eugene? <laughs> I'm not sure he was supposed to be right behind us, but weren't you supposed to help him get in too? Yeah, I'm waiting for his ass. Where is he? I, I take a look around. What do I see happening on the floor? Um, 
Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to have you. I mean, okay, are you, like, looking for, like, specific details? Or you just I, just wanna, I just want to absorb my surroundings. Okay. Uh, yeah, you look around. You see people on the slots, people on blackjack. There's a uh, bar in the center of the room, which is shaped like a diamond. So there's, like, a V for, like, the actual counter. And then behind that is, like, the shelf. Uh, did I say a diamond? I'm in a fucking triangle. What is up today? You're off, you're off your element. I'm off, man. Good, he's off his game. Maybe we can succeed without anything happening. <laughs> no, we yeah. we're, we're gonna be the first heist to actually be successful. <laughs> Fuck. You see a bar in the center of the room that's shaped like a triangle, where the uh, the counter is shaped like a V, and then behind that is the actual shelf. Uh, there's currently a, b- a bartender who is just going crazy on the cocktails right now. Like he's doing tricks, like throwing the shaker up into the air and then catching it and then pouring it out from like you know arm's length up in the air. Like I said, the just the the idol band. I don't know what the technical term for that is. Playing on the stage, just playing like that good jazz background music. It's just a band. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, just a band. The opening act is just gonna be a performance. And I'm just yeah. taking it all in. <sighs> and uh, <laughs> directly in front of you, from the front entrance, is the stairs that lead up to the uh, the balcony that sort of like hugs the like two of the walls in this casino so that way like people can like sit up there and be seen and look out the casino floor and uh if you've seen luke cage it's it's basically that nightclub i uh, i take a look i said all right so <clears throat> how many how much how much dollars worth of chips did you give me or hide um that's a good question i just stole chips yeah i'm gonna say you got about 500 dollars worth of chips you could have given me something more. <laughs> well, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck these high rollers people are. They do 20 bucks to be high rolling for them. Uh, Daisy kind of looks between you two arguing, and Daisy's just like, listen, it's a casino. You can make any amount of money be as high as you want if you're able to play your cards right. But I, I take a look at her as a, what do you think we can get inside the high rollers lounge with just this? Or if, what do you think? If we gamble big enough. Here's what we'll do. Y'all go play a table. Y'all start winning, start making noise. I can talk to the guard over there. Time to let you up. So, and she looks at you, Leo. What game are we going to win at? And what game is a the present there? Uh, you've got blackjack, roulette, craps, slots. Uh, and on the other side of the room looks like private poker rooms. Though you're not sure if you could just walk in on a poker game or if you have to have, like... Just busted the high there, doctor. I mean, uh... <laughs> uh yeah. Okay, so, um... Well, I'm not much of a gambling man. Daisy looks at you both and just goes like, you all have like weird powers, right? Can you use them to like, you know, and she like leans in real close. Cheat. Well, I can't really set the room on fire now, can I? But I got some and I pull out, like I kind of like extend your hand out to me. I extend my hand out. And I hand them my rigged deck cards. Can I do that? Mechanically, (laughs) not really, but I'm allow it because that's cool. Yeah. I was like, here you go. Trick is this. Every time you get your card, try to slide two cards in your hand. <laughs> I look completely puzzled at this. Like, <laughs> I have not done this <laughs> since the streets. Um, it's like it's not I, hard. Keep two cards in your sleeves. Walk up slowly. Every time you, every time you're ready to make a next bet, put another two in your hand. I, I look. I, I, I'm just. I'm staring at him like he knows what he's doing. And, I look and meanwhile, down. I'm, as I'm talking to him, I'm kind of like not specifically yeah. talking to him directly i'm more like just looking around like a guard would do like surveying the like hey, that, make like sure that. no one mm-hmm. is doing anything okay so burn your rig deck of cards tag uh bravo you have that as a story oh, tag. Shit. i, already, I okay. kept it burned so that that, that, it, burn. that is the uh that's the game mechanics compromise i'm going to do because one of the theme improvements is actually allowing someone else to use one of your tags um but since you don't have that theme improvement i'm going to say that leo you now have that as a story tag okay yeah and then I touch him on the forehead and transfer my greed. No, I'm just <laughs> transfer my greed. Um, I say, Taste Belfagor. Um, <laughs> God, you know, I'm starting to think well, this was like the worst like positions we could have done. Oh, I'm sorry, Mister. I changed the plan at the last second. No, 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 no. This is Pablo talking for sure. Most of I'm just like. No, this no. is Jason talking. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Most I like structure, and you just. I take took your a point. Shit on it. I take your point, but my thing is, why did we not make Leo a guard in disguise, and and you? Just playing with a disguise on. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the cards and throw them in the trash. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking stab you. Um, I take the, I, I, um, I, I pocket the cards. What, what sort of cards should I put in my sleeve then? Always go for the highest cards. It's always the winning cards, in my opinion. So I put um, an ace of spades, and 
the eighth man. Yeah. On that song. <laughs> um, and I see your fine man motorhead too. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know what, what's another good card. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got to teach you everything. Yeah. Put the king of spades, something. King, okay, so I put the king of spades, <laughs> and then I'm, I take a deep breath. I said, well, Daisy, let's go hit roulette. <laughs> and then as I look at him, going to, I guess, the <laughs> roulette table, I hope he's fucking with me, I just go, oh, I'm going to throw this coin faster than anyone can blink. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, right. no, I mean, I make it towards roulette, and I kind of just go off to uh, blackjack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. All right. All right. You can do blackjack. It, okay. the, the, it's a rigged deck. It doesn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cards are cards. Got it. How you how you do it though? <laughs> we're we're gonna see how this goes. Right. We we head straight to blackjack, and I, I, as okay. I'm walking, I always say, Daisy, you're gonna be my point man, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Meanwhile, <laughs> as I see them walk away, I'm just kind of looking around like, the fuck is him? The fuck is Eugene, man? And I kind of look over there and I say, well, the bar is open. <laughs> just kind of waddle my way over there. <laughs> a waddle, Alrighty. waddle. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, Leo, you're walking across the casino, just kind of taking it all in. Daisy is on your arm, and uh, she's kind of like playing like the part of just like you know hanging on the rich man's arm, just you know giving this yeah. like just this ditzy smile, looking up at you and like blinking her eyes. Um, I'm not even looking. I'm just stoic, but like nervous inside. And as you like walk across this casino with your eyes on the the blackjack table, you, you get this feeling in your gut, not not like butterflies, but like like static. And you know, you're 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 looking around now and you, you can see like the the ceiling of this room is dim, like there's not a whole lot of lights like covering the ceiling, mm-hmm. but you can kind of see what look like storm clouds? Like a, like a haze hanging over this, and you feel like the hairs on your arm begin to like stand on end. And you get this kind of, like this feeling that you felt one time in, in a dream way back when. And you get the sense that, that the thing that you're drawing your powers from, like that the thing that you are channeling is, is sensing something. Now, here's the thing. You get a sense that if you dig into this, you might be able to get some more information that your, your your human eyes aren't seeing. But the thief in you is telling you that you need to focus on the plan. So there's your hard choice, Leo. Are you gonna delve into your mythos or are you gonna stick to the plan? You're a motherfucker, I see what you're God. doing. <laughs> He's intentionally putting splinters in this. Um, Boil him a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my plans. Follow my plans. Are you? Are you? I'm so glad I'm not the only one that watches Team Four Star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad people got it. Okay, um, that's your intermission. Well, I'll kill you. <laughs> um, I, I, I take a quick stop. I guess very abruptly in the middle when I sense these things. And Daisy's me. I'm like, what's going on? I don't respond. I'm just kind of. I look up to the. That, I, there's a. You said there was a window, right? No, there's just there's a I haze just, of like like clouds at like on the top of the room. Yeah, the top of the room. Okay, that only he can see. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, got it. Good, yeah. Good. <laughs> I yeah, that completely draws my attention because I know this is completely supernatural, and you know my scientific head can't you know make logic of all this. So my decision is, I mean, I'm not too trusting of the plan, so I'm gonna follow the mythos. Okay, which mythos has the question? Uh, the what is the oncoming storm? Nature's wrath. Mark attention to nature's wrath. Yeah, mark, level up. And mark fade on medical thief. Fade on medical thief. <sighs> you guys had one plan. We had one job. And now. Yeah, we knew that wasn't gonna work out. And now, since you're delving into your mythos, roll plus mythos. So for you, plus two. Plus two. That's gonna be ten. <laughs> Six and a two, baby. Like yeah, Ke- fuck you, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> you, Kevin. You want to put a spike up our ass. Yeah, that's right. I set up this situation, so I guess I do have to pay it off. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> you more guay guay five out. out. <laughs> you more guay guay five out. Leo, you, you tap into this feeling that you felt once in a dream, but now in the waking world, you're able to focus more on it, and you see the clouds above you begin to, to solidify, and you see that now there's this... This is bank of storm clouds that 
hang over this casino and you see that the, the clouds, are dark and blue, flash with lightning. And as you look, you look up toward the, the, the high roller's balcony and you follow its edge to the, the main office with the large window that overlooks the casino, but you don't see the office anymore. You just see the, the core of this storm, the, the eye of it, and you can see the, the lightning in that spot is just never ending. It's just, it's just flashing and swirling. And as you look into the eye of the storm, it forms into a shape that looks at you and the eye of the storm blinks and you snap out of it and you're back and just in the middle of the casino floor you've been standing there just staring up at the ceiling for what you presume to be just a few moments but now daisy is tugging at your arm it's like okay all right what's going on and she's like snapping her fingers right, right. in front of your face uh, uh, what uh <clears throat> okay i, I kind of walk up there's like there seemed to be a problem i i'm still completely kerfuffled uh oh. i Oh, um, sorry. No, um, I just had to take a breather right now. It's I just still fumbling with my words. Just um, had to take this all in. Where is the the blackjack table? Blackjack table's down there. Come, and I. I... He he just needs to get into the zone, don't you, dear? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, he, he has his rituals before he gambles. You know how uh, the high roller he is. Now let's go. Sure. And, and I. I go where uh, Jason pointed out the blackjack table. Okay. So you start walking toward the blackjack table, and immediately Daisy just kind of like tugs on your arm and starts whispering in your ear. It's just like, okay, all right. I get that your friend over there is missing you know, a heart, and your other friend is, you know, he's kind of lacking his courage in here, but we can't afford you not having a brain, all right? And I kind of look at her, and I look at the camera, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sir, that don't happen again. Okay. Let, let's do this, because, you know, this, this, from what you guys are saying, this is some big shit that we're messing with. Oh, you have no idea. And so you make it over to the blackjack table. Yeah. So uh, there is currently the blackjack dealer there, and there's two other people. Um, Jason and Pablo, who are the two other people? Oh, man. Um, oh, man. Just, just, they can be just normal people. They can be outlandish. Just hit me. Uh, one of them is uh, it's, uh, Steven Millerson. Uh, and he is uh, a father of five. Uh, <laughs> Physical description, Pablo. He is uh, lives in, uh, general. He looks very out of place. He is a suburban. Uh, he is the king of suburbia in that he is like wearing a a like faded faded brown thin 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 brown lines in in this striped plaid shirt. Not striped. Not plaided. One of the two. Striped shirt. It's a white shirt, very thin brown lines. Tucked into his pants that are like dad jeans. And they're, it's, it, he's wearing a belt and it's pulled up over his belly, be, belly button. Soon to be, he's got a dad bod under there. You just know it. And he's got glasses. He looks like he does insurance or something. He All right, that's some... a fantastic description. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Pablo, who's the other guy? He's white. Not Pablo. Pablo. Fuck, fuck. I'm glad you asked. The other fellow <laughs> no, is no. Carlos I can't do Sangria. That <laughs> no, I'll go with that. Good. My name is Carlos Sangria. I have, I'm actually well taken care of. I, I'm fit. I have long, luscious hair. I have beautiful eyes. Skin, perfect to the T. But I'm a mute. He's a mute? <laughs> yeah. He, 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 <laughs> he's a, he's he a opens mute. his mouth. The tongue's just not there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Great. So those two people are at the table. Uh, Leo, do you sit down? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So you sit down at the table, and the, uh, the, the dealer... Uh, so the dealer looks at you, Leo, and goes, starting bet is $100. Sounds good. And I flip one of the $100 uh, chips on it. He looks at the other two people. Steven Millerson goes, well, I think I've got a little bit here for you. Oh, I left my chips at home. <laughs> just a little joke for you there. Here you go, 100 there, sir, for you. There you go. He just glares at Steven, then looks at the <laughs> other person. And, I, and like, I nod quietly as I push my 100 in. I love how you made this person a I know. So <laughs> That's a big fucking voice. <laughs> I was, I was oh, five steps ahead of y'all. <laughs> lean into the Mexican or anything. No, Carlos just... Sangria. 
You know what? There is a Carlos Sangria that's probably mute out there. When I find him, I'm going to send you his fucking profile Good. Picture. Put me on the phone with him when you find him. <laughs> We're all about representation here at Rolling in the Mist. All right. Oh, we sure are. You, you know what's funny, though? What I thought of was, like, I want to just see how bad you have to fucking try to figure this character out with those. Because you have to describe. I have to describe it in the fucking, with what I'm doing. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so uh, the dealer starts uh, dealing out the cards. Uh, Leo, how are you going to cheat? Yeah, Leo. So uh, what I'm going to do, actually, because I got nothing that helps with sleight of hand or anything, I'm actually going to um, cast Primal Blessing on me to... uh, Here's how. With Primal Blessing, I'm going to uh, invigorate my lung capacity, thus increasing, you know, blood flow, especially to my eyes. To kind of look around, then just ho- just hold on, just hold on, all right? Because you 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 give you giving me these fucking cards does nothing good for me. Um, <laughs> then I'm gonna use uh, an eye of weakness um, to kind of see around when people are not looking. And if all comes to worse, I'm gonna use gale force control to shoot a little bit of air at the dealer's eyes so he doesn't <laughs> see me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is oh my God. that is one of the most bullshit assortment of attacks. <laughs> but I no, will... no, I can control air. Fuck off. Hold Here, on, hold hey, on. Here's the thing. One one of his weakness tags is struggle to calm the weather. And that here's the thing. If he messes up this roll, it becomes a great big mess up because he's trying to cheat at blackjack at the beginning of this heist plan. If you accept this, I want to use opportunist to become fucking CEO of Google, then, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like this is this is getting some nonsense. You have here. seen my Gale Force control in action. What are I you have, talking about? I, it sucks. Fences and you don't agree. <laughs> oh, thank God I'm in a fucking casino, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's what I'm going to allow. Story tag, rig deck of cards, and you can either do Gale Force control to put air in people's eyes <laughs> or I and I have weakness. Option. Well, I have well weakness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can, yeah. Or you can use I for weakness. Either or. You know, uh, Jason very, very, you know, respectfully made a good point about Gale Force control in the past. Uh, I'm gonna use I, I, I for weakness. Okay. To try to see when they're not looking. Okay. So plus two. Fucking hate you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm making a good point. Okay, if there was a fence here, you'd be going through it. That is a nine. Okay, so this is take a risk. Um, you die. <laughs> if fucking blackjack, what kind of game are you playing? Oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. So here's what happens: you, uh, as a dealer, deals a card. You actually manage to like slip a card in while no one's looking, mm-hmm. and so you look down. You actually you, like you have like blackjack just right there. <laughs> here's the I thing. I have twenty-one. Here's yeah. the thing. Well, actually, can you get 21 with two cards? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Amazing. That's why I told him king and ace. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so. Unbelievable. So you, you, slip a card, <laughs> you slip a card in. The dealer doesn't notice. Uh-huh. Steven doesn't notice. The mute notices. <laughs> well, that's a lucky person to notice. <laughs> so so what, is, what, is the, what does Carlos Sangria, the mute, do when he sees this person next to him slip a card in and get so blackjack? It, so, like, you know, he's, like, kind of looking at his card and, like, kind of just look, and he looks over, and his eyes get really busy. <laughs> His eyes like, like, like he's trying to progress with like what he just saw. I was like, this motherfucker's cheating, and he's trying you to get to make him a mute. You son of a bitch. And then yeah. like I look at, <laughs> I look at Leo, and Leo looks at me. Are you looking at me? Yeah. And we just kind of have our eyes locked. We're both like, I know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> and Leo flips the cards over, and it's immediate yeah. blackjack, and you. Get let's see, uh, four hundred dollars right there. Yeah, I I like picturing him flipping it, not breaking eye contact <laughs> with, <laughs> with Coda. <gasps> and so I like I, I'm kind of like flabbergasted. I'm not really sure if I want to tell because you know part of me wants to be a good citizen, part of me is also afraid he might be a cartel member. I'm not really sure where he stands in life. You're looking at me like I have this stoic look on my face, just calm the meaning yeah. where you see me just sweating balls. <laughs> and, and Daisy and just immediately celebrates, yeah. just like, oh my god, honey, that's fantastic. You gotta bet more this time. And she like glares daggers at you as she says that. <laughs> and I, I look over to the dude and like, well, you heard the lady. And I put down 500. Nice. We cut over to Samuel real quick. What's Samuel doing? So Samuel's just kind of browsing around, you know, really taking in the atmosphere, kind of understanding what's around his surroundings. He's fucking drinking. What the hell are you talking about? At the same time, he has gotten himself a delicious old-fashioned, just kind of sipping away, like, ah, you know, just enjoying the night. 
And as I kind of look over at Samuel, I can see that he won, and I can see like the mute also seeing him too. And I go, oh, "We're gonna get caught so bad." <laughs> I, I take another, and I'm still like waiting for Eugene. At this point, I'm like, "Fuck it." Mm-hmm. He's either got caught, he's killed, or he ran home. One of those two is running into my head right now. So I decide to fuck the plan and head for the back. Okay. So uh, you walk past the, the blackjack table as Daisy is celebrating, uh, and you head over to the, uh, the back room door, which is the only door that leads to the back room. Before I pass, I look at both Leo and Daisy, and I give them a wink like, like I'm about to do some shit. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't give a wink. You just blinked normally. <laughs> well, I'm also looking at the fucking LED lights right by. Like, ah, so it's hard to wink. Uh-huh. But I give him a wink, like I'm up to something, and then I I go straight for the the door for the back. Okay, I'm still thinking he's following the play. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you go to the back door, and there's you know there's of course like a guard standing mm-hmm. right in front of there. Yeah. Uh, and as you walk up, he starts like eyeing you, and you kind of get a sense like he's not recognizing you. What do yeah. you do? I go up to him. Uh, does Gar have the name tag on him? For yeah, he's got an emblem. He's got a, uh, a diamond. All right, I show him like I just kind of like just wave mines over like hey, hey into the back. Okay, uh, roll a convince. All right, use I'll it. use. I use my corner. Talk to anyone into anything. <laughs> Appear as a professional, opportunist. Can I use that? I'd say not opportunist. Why not? This is an opportunity to Everything's show Everything's an skills. opportunity, damn yeah. it. You shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, you started this, okay? We could have got through the plan. What did I do? Do you really want to start the beginning of the session when we when it comes out? Oh, heavenly merciful God, it's for good podcasting. And he runs. <laughs> it was my fault the bitches showed up in the back and a better plan showed up. <laughs> Fine then. <laughs> yeah. Talk anyone in anything. Appear as a professional. Illusionary appearance and hypnotic voice. I have to convince him somehow. Okay, yeah, sure. Go for it. Please, Jesus, if you love me, you will give me what I want. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, uh, here's the deal. You can use your emblem as a story tag, mm-hmm. but you get a sense that if it goes under intense scrutiny, uh, afterward the magic's going to fall off. So do you want to use the emblem story tag to get it a full, you know, 10? Or do you want to keep it for later? Well, that's a good one. Yeah, that fucking son of a bitch. I'm a gambling man. His head. <laughs> I'll use it now. You use it now? I'll use it now. Okay. So, you know, you walk up to him and you start talking to him. Hey, I need to go to back. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm not sure if I recognize. And then you like flash like yeah, your, your your spade and uh, emblem, and he's like, "All right, yeah, go go for it." Thanks, Matt. And then his head's back. Yeah. So you walk through the door and you enter in this like small room, which is basically just like a entryway between the one door and the other door. And like as that door closes behind you, your mm-hmm. spade symbol turns into a piece of paper that just falls to the floor. And I just kind of just throw it to the ground. Yeah. So uh, do you walk through the other doors? Yes. All right. You walk calmly through- though. I'm slow. Kind of just taking my surrounding and just kind of calmly walking, like not really rushing or anything. Okay. You walk through the other door and you enter the uh, the the back area of this casino, the warehouse area with the vault, the shelves, the reinforced back doors, which are now currently locked. Uh, you see a couple of other guards just sort of like walking, milling about, just kind of lazily checking everything. Uh, you don't see Eugene, who is currently invisible at the door frame. Uh so I can see he just entered here. Yeah, right as the door slid open and Renfield and this guard went up what looks like a staircase just in, hidden in the, the wall. Okay. You you hear like the doors open, you see another guard pop out from that door. One that looks suspiciously like Rad Grit. <laughs> 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 My goodness, Rad Grit, what is he doing? Oh, wait a second. So uh, here's your deal. You can either go through this entryway while it's still open, or you can talk to your ally and see what's going on. Uh, what, uh, I'm definitely going to go over to... Uh, um, Rat Grit. No, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I should name my guy that. The name is Rat Grit. Rat Grit. You may have seen Now it's a some, better name. I know. It's like such a cool name. Mm. Um, I know what I'm going to name my next character in the next place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're planning. You're you're planning I'm, on Sam dying again. No, so no, no, another no. character. This, this huh? is for another. This is oh, for another game. Great. Rad um, yeah, I'm definitely going over to Rad. Uh, <laughs> and uh, 
I'm gonna fill him in. All right, so you uh, you kind of saunter down the room, and then you. But there's no guards everywhere, right? Like there, there's like one guard I think on your side of the room, and he's currently just like standing in the shelves, just taking a smoke. He doesn't look in eyesight of where you are currently. I kind of look at the guard, like I, I, even though I took that paper off, I'm mm-hmm. making it look like like I'm on lunch break. Like, oh, what's for lunch? And he looks at he's like, oh, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't usually work around like here. I'm, I'm, I'm on uh, Renfield duty. Got it. He got a swig. Uh. Swig? <laughs> so you mean a, yeah, sig. a sig. Same difference. <laughs> no, a swig is a drink. Yeah, oh, yeah. my bad. Let me start over. I meant, I meant a sig. Yeah, I got a yeah. sig. Yeah. I mean, and, and then he opens up his coat and he has like a flask. I also got a swig. <laughs> Do you want a swig or a sig? What are you drinking? Bourbon. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, Eugene, as you go up to talk to uh, Samuel while invisible, Samuel immediately starts walking toward another guard. <laughs> <laughs> I now see it's moments like this where I wish we had cameras because okay I'm gonna try and verbalize it. <laughs> he's he starts like tiptoeing like this, like a like a Jim Carrey kind of thing starts tipped like Ace Ventura sneaking towards Sam towards Samuel and as he sees that Samuel is going up towards another guard he goes almost seamlessly. <laughs> Turns back around <laughs> and goes back to the wall because she's in a very nope, 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 never mind fashion. And then, like, so me and the guard are talking, and he's like, oh, God, it's times like these I wish. Mind you, if I may interrupt, mm-hmm. you are smoking in an enclosed room next to a vault where I'm guessing that shit should have a no smoking sign near. Bro, this is a all, casino. All Everybody. the money in the back, I'm guessing. Trust me, dude. They'll probably they're smoking. I mean, they're not smoking in the vault. Yeah, yeah outside the vault. Yeah. But me and him were just having like, oh, man, don't be such a prude. Busy day Leo. tonight. It's, it's what I it's do. It's a busy night. Yeah, man. No, it's, dude. Have, have you had a Renfield duty yet? Nah. What's that? Uh, you know, just like acting as that dude's bodyguard and all that. Like that guy, he is like he is jittery, man. Like he used to be like all calm and cool and shit like that. And then like after this like one hit, like he just got like he is completely shaken. Like you know, I mean, you didn't hear this from me, but man, he he almost broke like he almost broke Jim's wrist. Fuck. Yeah, Jim was just <laughs> Jim was just trying to like like pat him on the back, and then like he just grabbed his wrist and just fucking like almost broke it like right there. How's he doing right now? I mean, he still has to work. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Like he 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 looks over to the other side of this like warehouse like room and you see this one dude like just kind of like leaning against one of the shelves just like holding his wrist just like ah and he, he's just like I just like he's seen better days. Yeah, yeah, Am I mate. hearing all this? Is Eugene hearing all this yeah, conversation? Okay, they're not far. Yeah. Great. Uh, and, and as I'm just kind of looking at him like you should get floor duty, dude. It's not as bad. Yeah, man, you know, like, I thought, here's the thing, I used to have floor duty, I thought this was a promotion, turns out it's a death sentence. What's the pay? Pretty damn good, a lot more than floor duty. Well. Starting to wonder if it's worth it. What, yeah. and he, he looks up, he looks over at you, and, you know, he sees that you don't have, like, your, your badge on, he's like, what duty do you have? <sighs> floor, man, doing guard duty, same old shit. Where's your emblem? Took it off, I don't like wearing my badge when I'm at break, makes me feel like I'm still at work. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get in trouble with the guards like that. That's the only way they tell us apart. Ah, uh, shit. Well, better get back on the duty. Thanks for the, thanks for the cigarette. Yeah, no problem, man. You take care. Hey, make sure you keep an eye on Jim. That wrist shit could get worse. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I just kind of walk away, kind of, kind of musing, musing about like in the opposite direction where he was. I go towards the direction of Eugene, and I'm just kind of looking about like, man, where the fuck is this entrance to this vault? A snake? Psst. Hey, Samuel. It's me. It's Eugene. Eugene? Where the fuck are you? I'm right next to you. I'm invisible. Have you been back here this whole time? Y- yes, yes. I can explain. I'm terribly sorry. I did it. I, I know. I, I, I struck away from the plan. But something happened. Motherfucker, I've been waiting for you in the front. No, please. No, no, I, I understand that you are upset, and, and you have every right to be, but an opportunity presented itself. I believe the one that we know as Renfield is here. I, I believe I heard you were talking to the guard about him, breaking that poor gentleman's wrist. Oh, that looks painful. It's really bad. You know, you really should get that elevated uh, and put some eyes on it. You're done. Uh, I talk a lot when I'm scared. Renfield... 
You talking about that jittery guy, right? The one that the guard was talking about? Yeah, so yes, I, I can sympathize. And you know, really, all you need is a fine glass of chamomile tea, or not a glass of mug would be better. And then if you listen to some soothing music, that all the jittering would go away. I know it doesn't right now because I'm in the field. I swear to God, I could kill you. Uh, what the fuck do you know back here? I need to get my money. Okay, okay, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, come with me. I take his, uh, does he have long sleeves? You have long sleeves? Uh, no. Like, like, I, I would imagine my suit, my even though it's just, uh, even though it's just my work suit, I imagine it was still like, cause I'm still, I like the finer things, so everything was taped, just right. Everything is just lined up correctly. Okay, great. I grab him by his arm hair. I grab his arm <laughs> hair. And go, <laughs> I would say you, you, he technically could grab. <laughs> you I by just his grab sleeve. my hand. <laughs> Act natural, and I grab his hand gingerly, <laughs> and I just guide him towards the uh, break room. He says there's a window in the break room. No, no. Oh, no, 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 I'm just looking through the door. Yeah. Okay, I bring him to uh, the break room. Act as if we're going, I don't know, on break. I am on break. What are oh, you talking about? Excellent. You're doing a magnificent job. You're a true brat, a rad, rad grit. All right, great. <laughs> Come on in here and look what I found. I go into the room. What's it look? Is it still the doors open? What's going on? Yeah, the door is half ajar, and uh, the break room is exactly as it was. Uh, Samuel, you actually recognized the chair that you were tied to. Uh, as Lenny and Benny were beating you senseless. Good old times. <laughs> I'm just looking at the chair like, son of a bitch. Uh, and at this point, the sliding wall that you saw has closed. Okay. Um, there is a secret compartment behind this wall, a, a, a doorway to a staircase. We just have to find a way to open the mechanism. I think I saw the guard do it. And you forget the plan. We're trying to get into the damn vault. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, We're still on a timer uh, here. Uh, right, right. Well, uh, but there's still guards around the 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 the, the, <clears throat> the vault, and, and and if we go up here, I know that a couple of guards went up that they might have the keys to 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 to, to, to the vault. And Renfield's here. And Renfield, Renfield, he's he's a bad guy. He's a really bad guy. And and we we we, we get rid of him. And, and I, I I don't know how we would do that, but I feel a lot more confident in our abilities. Listen. To... Yes. We have a plan. I want my money. I don't know who this Renfield fuck is. And I don't care. <laughs> now, I'm going to get in that vault one way or the other. You can follow me or you can deal with this Renfield fucker. Well, how, do you, uh, uh, how do you anticipate to elude the guards and get just walk right in? The, the shadow manipulation doesn't work until the EMP work goes off. And, and even then, uh, they're not going to. How are you going to explain a guard going I into the vault? I swear to God, I could kill you in less than two seconds and I can get my distraction that I need. You coming with me or not? We're going to figure this out. I, I, I'm only... Opening the door to a conversation about we what are you in intend. the middle of the back of a casino. I have lost the ability <laughs> to show my badge to anybody. You are invisible. I'm guessing up against a wall or something. And I'm um and I become visible and I am on the opposite wall <laughs> from him turn around. up against. And I, as he turns around, I go. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a plan. Stay behind these fucking. Is there crates or something that he's right next to? Still? Now we're in the we're in the door we're in the room yeah. now. So I'm All right, stay behind this door. Room. I got a plan, and I go up to the guard I was talking to. I was like, "Hey man, I know you're on Renfield duty. How would you like to go on the field? What? Yeah, go on the go on the field. I'll take over for you. You get a break from this place. You you mean the floor? Yeah, because you know bodyguard duty. I'm usually in like the field. Like I. I, I fucking I killed a guy earlier, man. Like, just just shot him right in the chest. Yeah, you really want to be around that again? You'd be safer on the floor. You can get yourself a drink. Be around pretty people. Uh, all right, yeah, you, you uh, yeah, we'll swap badges. You got yours? Yeah, yeah I got mine. Don't worry about it. You just go on the. F- no, I mean, like, floor. can I take your badge? Cause like, I can't wear my club's badge out on the floor. And then I use um, at that point I use hypnotic voice. I use talk anyone to anything. And uh, slide a hand. Because I plan to do is once we're about to exchange, I'm going to switch back. So this way, he, he thinks he took my badge when in reality he took, he, he just, he kept his badge. Okay. Yeah, cool. um, I'm wondering if I should invoke your weakness, greediness killed the cat. I like that shirt of yours. Let me take that too. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I, if you I, do that, I want to use gambling because I am a gambling man at this moment. Nope. Come on. Nope. I am gambling with my life. <laughs> nope. I. Because you could it, by that yeah, justification, on, you can use that all the time. I'm a little. I'm a little on Jason's side on this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's, not, it's a. It is a form of gamble. Okay. It, I'm, okay. I'm not going to invoke the weakness tag, but you're not using gambling. Okay. All right. That's okay. okay. Talking with anything. <laughs> Hypnotic voice. Okay. 
Do -de do. Oh, and slide a hand because I'm gonna try to do that thing. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Plus three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. Nice. Oh it. my god. It's an eleven. It's an eleven plus plus three. Oh, That's fourteen, shit. baby. <laughs> If you only can see me do the walk it at, and you I don't get know what to, yeah. you have a hard choice or an ugly bitch in your face. <laughs> so you either get to lose an eye or you have to shit out an entire lemon. I'll lose an eye. God gave me two for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's that three hundred thinking. No, you you actually do it too good. Like you do the sleight of hand, and then like y your your wires get crossed, and you sleight of hand it, and it just disappears from your hand, and the guard is just like, what? what? And then you just it appears in your other hand, and you hand him the bat or something like yeah. that. You yeah. take his watch. Here you go, man. <laughs> Here and, you go. And uh, yeah, he takes the badge. He's like, all right, thanks, man. And he uh, he heads out. Yeah. And I, just, I he just took, kinda... he took his watch and his wallet when he wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, look. I'm like, Eugene. Eugene. I don't think Eugene can hear you from this point I, in the room. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, you're in the room. I'm I'm back in the break room. You told me to stay behind the door. Stay behind the door. Don't go in the room. I was already in the room. Oh, okay. You so went out I'm, of the room. So I'm just kind of like. Like whistling at you. Eugene, you hear a whistling in the, the warehouse section of this room. I, po I poke my eyes around the corner. It's like, coast is clear. Come on. I'm, not, I'm doing this. I'm kind of like nodding my head. Like, come here. Get over here. And then I mouth to him and point, what about Jim? <laughs> to him and point towards Jim in the corner. Yeah, uh, Jim is currently still in the corner. He's, he's like looking over his wrist and just kind of like walking around. <laughs> he, he's kind of like pacing, just going like... <laughs> I go to Jim real quick, like, hey, Jim, I use... <laughs> yeah, he, he, like, jumps back real quick, like, oh, oh. It's you all right? You? Uh, I'm, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm totally fine, yeah. I'm, uh, you know, no, no. And he, like, puts his, like, broken wrist behind his back, and he's like, it's, it's nothing I haven't handled before. Uh, uh. Look, you're clearly fucked up. Go get some water, go take a break, get yourself together. That wrist looks bad. Yeah, I don't even think you have to roll for that. He's like... Yeah, all right. And he starts walking toward the break room. Oh, fuck. And Eugene sees this and just... <laughs> I, I just go, a good I like, face palm smack. <laughs> and then I go up to Jim real quick, and I use hypnotic voice and talk anyone to anything. I'm like, Jim, you should go wash your face. Go to the bathroom. Can that's, I roll for this? That's in the break room. Is it in the break room? <laughs> is the bathroom in the break room? You the break me. room is just a, a room with two fold-out tables and some chairs. There's no, nothing else wait, in there. Isn't it the breaking? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the, the breaking room. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to say there is a bathroom in this warehouse section. Uh, I'm not going to say this is the same move because you are technically doing it on a new person. So I, I will say... I'll use greediness kills the cat. Yeah, greediness killed the cat. You son of a bitch. Hey, but at least you get to level it up. Yeah. Can I use opportunist? Because I am an opportunity kind of guy to make things Wow, happen. that was even worse than your last <laughs> argument to use opportunist. Look, Roll okay. plus one, my friend. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Four. That sucks. That's bad. That's bad. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. It's bad. The luck's right out, boys. At least, at, least, at least it was on Jim. Yeah. <laughs> fuck Jim. Yeah. yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, Jim's just like... Uh, no, no, I, I actually got like an ice pack in the and he stops and he turns around and he's like, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, man? I don't think I've seen you around here before. And, uh, and he looks down at your suit. Where's your badge? Name's Jedediah Longtree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took it off, man. You know, I don't like wearing it when I'm on break. Uh, huh. Yeah, can you, uh, can you show me it? Yeah, sure. And I go for my coin. And you can see he's slowly reaching to his side. And Eugene, you see this situation going down. Oh, and we cut over to Leo. Ah, oh, oh. you son of a bitch! <laughs> Leo. <laughs> you are at the black good, yeah. You are at the blackjack table. You've just bet five hundred dollars on this next hand. What do you do? Oh, that's right. We're still characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wait. I'm back, I'm back. I gotta get to the I gotta get to my character. Yeah, let me uh <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the Urban King. <laughs> I uh, I uh, I'm about to put five. Okay, so I put five hundred down, and I'm guessing at this point when I put the five hundred down, I'm seeing him walk by. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's how these things work. Yeah. <laughs> Time. Um, I've I don't I haven't taken my hand off the chips yet. Mm -hmm. I just have it down. Yeah. I look over to 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 Daisy. 
and what kind of look has Daisy given me? She's still currently in like you know ditzy like hanger on girl mode. You know she's got like the the smile and like the half lidded eyes. But as she like as you like give her like a stare, she like winds her eyes a little bit. Like, what are you doing? I said, you know what? I'm just gonna bet two hundred. It's gonna be a long night, and I don't want to you know rush myself. And so. she get like she's meaning like well. Uh, honey, wait! Don't you want? Don't you want to? You know, bet big. I thought you were a high roller. <laughs> I said I know, but even a high roller's got to be playing smart about it. And then, meanwhile, no, no, no Carlos, you don't meanwhile. get to just do that. He's looking at him, oh, just shaking Carlos. his head, like, oh, Carlos, yeah. yeah. What would you think I was going to do? I thought you were just taking the story back to the back <laughs> no, room. No, no, no. I'm Carlos. I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the table with uh-huh. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pablo, don't break character. You are now Stephen McStevenson. <laughs> oh, golly gee shuckers. I'm so sorry was about that. Miller? Oh, was no. it a Stephen Miller? Stephen Millerson. Yeah, 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 meanwhile, I'm just looking at him like shaking my head like. <laughs> just I, saying, I just, like, I just no. put 200 down. Okay. So the, the dealer quirks an eyebrow, but he's like, all right. And he starts uh, dealing out the cards again. What do you do? I'm going to play it normally. Okay. This is why I brought a deck of cards this time. You want me to pass them out? <laughs> yeah. You want me to be the, you want yeah, me to yeah, be the yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, deal them out. Okay, yeah. so Jason has currently just actually dealt out cards, cards to everyone. Yeah. I need to so see. Good. I know I, you're going to cheat. I am mm-hmm. so happy I got this. Okay. It, wait, are you the actual? You're yeah, going to I'm, be the. I'm going to be the dealer. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay. Yeah, the, all the cards are dealt. Okay, I, uh, I mean. Well, technically, it's, 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 yeah. it yeah. we're going to go in a circle. So Okay, so it starts with Steven. Look at your cards. Do you not play blackjack? Nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was like going to look at the card. like, am I supposed to do that? All right. So the goal so. of the game is to add up 21, the number 21 in your hands. The face cards are worth 10. The ace of any kind. Cut out this whole lesson. I from am. The yeah, great. I am. Good. All right. So the... The dealer deals out all the cards, which we have dealt out all the cards in front mm-hmm. of us in the real world. We're actually uh, playing around right now. Yeah. yeah. Steven. Uh, a game within a game. Hit or stay? Oh, hit me there, but not harder than my wife does on Thursday nights. <laughs> a little oversharing there. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I made a mute laugh. Every time a mute laughs, an angel gets its wings. Everybody <laughs> heard, any, anybody ever heard that one? Fuck you guys. I hate you so much. <laughs> I had to crank this thing down I'm so, so low when you Dude, got <laughs> I wasn't even trying. I was being serious up until we started doing the voice. Here okay. we go. Uh, oh, and okay, a seven of diamonds there. Oh, how glorious. And so you get to say, hit me again or pass. Right. Uh, okay, uh, some quick. Let me think there. Uh, I, uh, uh, uh. I'm I'm good there. All right, so that's Steven. Yeah. He looks at you, Leo. Hit or stay? Hit me. Hit me again. Daisy's giving you the wide look. I hope you know math. <laughs> I stay. Okay. Uh, the dealer looks at the mute. The mute taps his fingers on the table. It means it hit. <laughs> The mute is doing math. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably insensitive to call Carlos the mute. All right. Carlos? That's a street name. Yeah, the mute. Yo, y'all heard the mutes in town. <laughs> Shit, everybody pocket your cards. I feel like that's even more insensitive. Why is that what the voice well, I use? Look, we're all Latinos. We all know it's exactly true. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, you hear the mutes in town? <laughs> yes, I did. I heard the mutes in town. <laughs> there, I'm being inclusive. <laughs> We better it's hide. diverse. It's All right, diverse. were they near do wells because they were multicultural, <laughs> or were they just multicultural near do wells? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we're keeping this in. All right, yeah, go for it for sure. Carlos looks at his cards. He glances over at Leo, shakes his head, and then I just wipe my bald ass head, <laughs> and I just wave my hand across my cards, going like I'm staying. Okay. And then now it's. You decide yeah. whether you want to stay or not. All right. The uh, the dealer waves his hand over his card to stays. Okay. Everyone uh, flips over their cards. Dealer has 19. Got me a fashionable 20 there for you. Carlos looks kind of with a smile. He has a 20. Leo looks at all all three people there, looks at Daisy, just cracks a, small, uh, a little smile, and pulls out 21. A queen, a six, a two, and a three. Jesus, Bravo got that with his luck. Wow, that's... there is no rolls here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and so me, like you know, the uh, the whole table just like looks at Leo, it's just like ooh. Uh, ooh and I'm there. assuming the mute is like just <laughs> glaring daggers. At this point, and I, I, I'm just just stoic, but like like one single drop of sweat. Like oh my god, I can't believe that worked. 
All right, so that's uh, two, four, six. Uh, okay, so that's 800. 200, 600, 800, yeah. Fuck. I have about yeah. like almost 1,000 something. Uh, 700 plus 800, I believe, is the current math, so 1,500 in 1500. chips. 1,500, okay. And I just smiled. I said, well, this was fun, gentlemen. I'll cash out now. And, uh, you know, the dealer's just like, are you sure? You're looking like you're on a streak. And Daisy's just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to need a little bit more to get to the high rollers. I sure would appreciate a chance to play a little longer with you there, fella. <laughs> Otherwise, if I come home empty-handed, <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm gonna go to work empty-handed, if you know it. She's going to deep behind me. Can you stay at the table? I have a very violent wife. Daisy just looks at Stephen and is just like, are you okay? <laughs> Meanwhile. No, I, I, I'm absolutely fine there, darling. Thanks so much. And he blinks, and one eyelid says help, and the other <laughs> eyelid says me. <laughs> As he blinks at her. I, I I, I noticed that. <laughs> Carlos, meanwhile, has a pissed off face. Like, like he knows he's getting fucking <laughs> fucked in this game. And he's shaking his head, like, really angrily at you. And the dealer looks at uh, you, Leo's like, no, are you sure? I am. All righty. And he, uh, he hands you all your chips, and, yeah, you just get as up I, off the I table. I turn around, I, I turn to Daisy, I said, Daisy, I have another idea. Whatever you say, honey. And she's, like, gritting her teeth as she says that. And uh, you, you walk away from the table. What's, what's Carlos do? Carlos looks at the dealer, and he's, like, kind of shaking his hand, like, trying to do this with, like, the cards. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. going on in the background. Yeah. So we'll see if that uh, comes to bite Leo in the ass later. Yeah, the dealer looks at you as you're, like, doing, like, the, the card motions, and the dealer looks up at Leo. And Steven says, what this. is it? What is there, boy? So- someone <laughs> down in the well? <laughs> I hope you're never back in season two. <laughs> Help, oh. and, and the uh, the dealer, I'm like I'm like kind of holding yeah. the cards up, and I'm trying to show like like I'm trying I, to do like yeah. a motion like switch. And dealer takes a suspicious glance at Leo, and then starts he he you know makes a motion towards Stephen and uh, Carlos, then walks away from the table toward the nearest guard. Um, do I notice that? Um, I would say you're walking away from the table. So w- would your character take a look back at the table? I mean, would I would still be walking? looking around because I'm still cautious of everything. Yeah, okay. Given I'm my back, I'm like doing this little number. Okay, so so since Carlos is angrily pointing, yeah, you catch that. Okay, <laughs> you you catch Carlos angrily uh-huh. pointing at you as the dealer goes off to I find just, like I a just, guard. I just still keep the calm in the mirror thanks to veteran doctors calm. I haven't used that today. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, and I, I kind of pull I pull I pull Daisy like closer to me, mm-hmm. kind of to to body to body contact. And I, and she goes, I, oh. I grab, I take the cards. Is she wearing like a purse or anything? No, just a dress. Just a dress. Yeah. Uh, very, I, very low cut. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, I <laughs> kind of grab, grab her arm, kind of palm the deck, especially also the deck, the other card that was in my hand, and just whisper, "Trash these." And she, uh, she takes. Uh, and I give her a kiss on the cheek. Aw. Yeah. She, she takes the, she takes the deck and takes the kiss and just like looks at you and just like, you better have some good up your sleeves. And then walks over to the uh, to a nearby trash can. As you, where are you walking? Uh, I'm walking as close as I can get to the guards that are guarding the top, like the the balcony, the the, the entrance. Yes. Okay. So I you're... don't go up to them. I'm just like in the area, kind of just enjoying the view. Okay. Bef- before the moment passes, does he need to do any kind of roll for that since he's trying to be sneaky? In the middle Isn't of the that room? yeah sleight of hand? Yeah. Let's do yeah. Let's do a okay. sneak around for that. You're using Daisy though, so you can use a story tag. Yeah. Use Daisy as a story tag. Mm, can I? No, that's pretty much all I can use. Sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have sleight of hand. Veteran Doctor's Call. Veteran Doctor's Call. Oh my god, I can do it! I can do that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually trying not to make it you a joke anymore. your mythos. Yeah. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> it's Veteran a joke. Veteran Doctor's Call. Hey, you're slowly making I use hypnotic voice and uh, But it's different. It's me. Uh, no, no, it's, not even. <laughs> it's me. Everyone can believe it. All right, so you're it's a plus the, two. You're supposed to be the better of the two. Plus two? Uh, that's a ten. Jesus. You can check it yourself, a six and a two. No, that's good. So, yeah, you do this effortlessly. You slide the deck of cards and all that into Daisy's hands. Daisy, you know, looks at you and goes like, you better have something else up your sleeves there, darling. Just like Guatemala. <laughs> and then she uh, she walks away uh, toward the trash can while you walk off toward the uh, the, the balcony stairs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, behind you... Um, you know, you can kind of glance, and you see that there's a there's another guard walking towards your way, but it doesn't he, he's not even glancing at Daisy, so it doesn't look like he saw your like sleight of hand there. I'm and I'm just kind of playing with the chips. And as you're walking toward the guards of the stairs, there's another guard walking up behind you, and we cut back to the warehouse. <laughs> so, uh, Samuel, 
you are reaching for your coin. Jim, he's reaching uh, to his side with his working hand. Uh, Eugene, <laughs> you see all this go down. What do you guys do? Well, since Eugene isn't... <laughs> well, Eugene's making that sound. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to make sound. All right. Natural 10. So here's it's what I do. It's a 17. He poops. I pull out, I pull out my coin. I'm not going to actually throw it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the weight of greed and conduit of avarice. And I'm going to kind of use it as like a blunt object to kind of just hit him on the head with it. And go, bah, just knock him out. Oh, my goodness. Because even though I'm not throwing it, it still holds the weight. I think it looks hilarious if you just like flip it with your thumb and just like yeah. flip it against his head. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> ding, ding. Yeah. Okay. So, can I do that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Can I, go for I, it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pull out my coin and kind of just flick it at his head like a little pop. Okay. Go for all it. Right. Hey, so, with all you got. That's a plus two. All right. So I'm gonna use conduit of avarice, the way to greed, and I'm gonna use disloyalty. Okay. Mm. Actually, I think this would be more of a go toe to toe because this guy, this is basically gonna be a shootout. He's, okay. So yeah. what? So don't. It, try. Same thing. Oh, same thing. Okay. Yeah. So I can use them. Yeah. Okay. So I only get a plus one. Four, I mean, four, seven, seven eight. Eight? It's an eight. Okay, so you can choose one. Either you hit them, you dodge their attempt, or you grab something from them. I grab their life. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> huh. Fuck it, this plan's going to shits anyways. I hit them. Okay. Mm. All right, so here's the deal. You, like, flick your coin and just bashes him in the head, and it yeah. makes, like, a solid thunk, and, like, blood, like, spurts out from this. Oh! Yeah. Like, like what? Oh, <laughs> shit. I mean, oh, wait, this is like a, a well, one, this is a one status because you're, you had a power of one, right? You're rolling plus one? Yeah. Okay. You flick your coin, you hit him right in the forehead, and it makes this, like, nasty bruise, and he, his head gets, like, knocked back, and immediately he pulls out a pistol, and he just fucking shoots you. What? I didn't knock him out? You didn't choose nah, to, uh, right. yeah, you didn't draw. choose to dodge. Yeah, he shit. was drawn. So, yeah, and also you just hit him with the, the one tier. So you hurt him, but he's not knocked out. Oh. So, Even with the wrist arm, he's not going down? That, when you break your wrist, doesn't mean you get a fucking Dude, concussion. He, he, you, let me break your wrist, and then let me hit you something with heavy, and let's see how you react. That doesn't affect the brain. I hit him in the brain! So well, here's the deal. Enough. So here's <laughs> the deal. He pulls out his gun, and he shoots you, but from, like, the impact of the coin, I'm going to reduce the status. So just take a uh, glancing shot one as the bullet just, like, psh- Cuts through your clothes and like slices at your side. You're so kind. But, of you. but what, in this warehouse, what, what what's this called? <laughs> oh fuck! What was this? Uh, uh, glan- glancing shot one. Glancing shot. But in this warehouse, a gunshot rings out. Oh, that will echo. Wait, was Jim and the other guard the only guards in there? Yeah. Well, the other guard went to the floor. R- right. So but there's no other guards in the warehouse. Just now. Jim. Yeah, I think we established it's just a, just Jim in there now. Okay. Yeah. So the gunshot rings out in the warehouse. Eugene, what do you do? Um, I panic, grab my head, and like look back out and see that uh, he's been shot. And the other guy's not knocked out. No, he's still standing. He's like wobbling. I only did an eight. He's so wobbling, yeah. holding his head. Yeah, he's wobbling, holding his head. He only gave him a one status, and it's gonna take more than that to take down a guard. Fuck, Jim is strong. Yeah, Jesus. Um, I. Is nuts. He's a casino guard. That what doesn't do you mean expect? they're. That doesn't mean they're made of steel. I literally hit him with the weight of greed. <laughs> I am a supernatural power. He's Jim. <laughs> He's Jim. Jim's Jim, buddy. The power of Miller. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Jim Miller. <laughs> all right. Uh, Eugene panics and freaks out, looks back at the wall where the secret door is, sees mm-hmm. that nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. Great. Not yet. Uh, f- uh, frantically runs out to uh, Jim. He's behind Jim. So he runs out towards Jim. Um, and... and and oh, this is gonna go back. impulsively, <laughs> quickly turn him around by the shoulders, and uh, and slap him with super strength oh. to knock him out. Okay, dude, we're gonna give this guy brain damage. <laughs> roll, the roll the hit with all you got there, buddy. Okay, just a simple. I'm, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it definitely comes with an I'm sorry if it works. So wait. In fact, he's the whole, every sprint comes with I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Just to, just to clarify, Jim's got a coin shape. Bruise right on his forehead, yes. and you are about to give him a sorry pimp slap. <laughs> yeah, to knock him out, to yeah. do what you were trying to do. I was trying to do. Okay, good. Um, I got super strength. That's all I got. Oh god. Uh, six plus one is uh, seven. Shit. All right, hit with all you got. Yeah. 
He shoots you twice. Okay. <laughs> choose Dodge one. Of, choose. <laughs> choose one of these. One of any of these? Yeah, you take cover, you get them good, plus one tier, you control the collateral damage, you hold the target's attention, or you take one juice. What does take one juice mean again? Uh, you get something to spend on a story tag later. Like, you can create a story tag later with it. I, I really I really just want to get them good. I really just want this to be over. Okay. So, yeah, you, you rush up, and you sorry, spin... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry. You spin him around, and he's just, like, just surprised from just, like, one, seeing you, and two, just hearing that, and then you just... And he just like jumps back and actually like he actually like lands into Samuel, ah! Knock, <laughs> knocks Samuel over, and Samuel as you like hit the ground like the air gets knocked out of your chest. You just feel this like dead weight, and you just know this guy is knocked cold. Oh, okay, I mean, okay, get this motherfucker off me. Getting <laughs> uh, Eugene throws the guy off of him and helps him up to his feet. And uh, as you help Samuel up and you now have this unconscious guard, you hear the doors that lead to the, uh, the front room of the casino uh, burst open. And uh, you guys can see through the shelves another guard uh, coming through, and he's looking around wildly. And uh, it's, it's the same guard that you were talking to earlier, nice. uh, Samuel. And it looks like he, he heard the gunshot. He's like, hey, what, what's going on back here? Hey. And he starts you know, just like running. What do you guys do? Which door did he come through? He came through the one door that leads to the front of the casino. Fuck. Um... The only door. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say we should say that. The, yeah, there was a guy here. He shot. He shot Jim. And he, fucking, <laughs> and, and, he, and he went out to the casino. He's on the floor. Go, but he just came from there, so that won't work. Unless there's another door out of here. Well, this is a warehouse, so he could be hiding. There's the rear doors, but those are locked tight. They're locked. Oh, uh, there's also. Is this one guy or is three guards? No, it's just one guy. Just one, one guy. guard. Is it the same right guard now. from before? Yes. Oh fuck! It's nameless Sigur Swig guard. Sigur Swig. That's his name. Sigur Swig. Swig. <laughs> Um, that's awful. Uh, I don't have the answer. I, I'm panicking. So I got an I'll answer. Get, what do we got? I look at you, Jim. I'm Sa sorry. Sammy, what? I'm sorry. Get this motherfucker. <laughs> He's attacking what? us. What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and the guard immediately looks toward Eugene and is just like, hey, you're not supposed to be back here. And he like takes out his Help pistol. Help me, swing it. He, he takes out his pistol and he just starts rushing toward you, Eugene. Uh, mark attention on whichever theme has this loyalty weakness tag. What a dick. <laughs> on the bright side, I just leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man! <laughs> Fuck this! Everything really turned out for the better. Oh my god! Uh, You'll thank me later! This guard pulls out his pistol and he starts running towards you. Samuel, you're dressed up as a guard and you start taking a few steps back from the person you just called out. Leo, you're walking toward guards to the staircase and then another guard puts his hand on his shoulder and goes, Hey, we going to have to talk to you real quick. And as the three of you are in your own scene of guards coming after you, that's where we'll end the session. Oh. Let's see if you guys can uh, improvise the, the heist from here. <laughs> Boy, this went bad in every way we could imagine. <laughs>